I've um, taken a Shakespeare play, Othello, and written a novel inspired by it. And I could do anything I want with it, so I decided to set it on an American school playground around 1974, and all of the kids in it are 11 years old. Yeah, I was 11 in 1974, and I had an unusual upbringing in that I grew up in Washington, D.C., and um, lived in an integrated neighborhood and went to a school that was about 80% black. And so I had the unusual experience of being um, a white minority. And, and I wanted to write about that, although I have flipped it back. So the, the book opens with a black boy walking onto an all-white playground, and it's about what happens to him over the course of the day. It's, it's recognizably the Othello storyline, but I took out some of the subplots because Shakespeare um, had to fill three hours of entertainment on stage. And so there are a lot of almost uh, too many coincidences and things like that in, in them. So I, I simplified that. But the characters are recognizably, there's an Othello, his name is Osei, and he's a, a Ghanaian boy who walks on to an all-white playground, and it's what happens to him over the course of a day. He meets a girl named Dee Desdemona, and he meets the school bully, Ian, who's Iago, and um, Iago has, Ian has a girlfriend named Mimi, who is Amelia, the friend of Dee, and um, so it, it's, uh, you, can, you can sense, and there's even places, it takes place in five acts, the way it does uh, in the play, and in act three, there's the point where Iago starts to turn Othello against D to start to get that um, jealousy going, and that um, that happens at the same time. So I try to, as it does in the play. Uh, you know, you can't really have four eleven-year-olds die um, at, in a book. I think it's a little pushing it. So I had to work out a way where. Um, it's a kind of death, particularly for D. It's it's more of a social death, if it, you might say, rather than an actual death. Yeah, I, I do think about Othello differently now. Um, once I started having to take it apart, I thought about how um, actually the, the women in Othello, uh, Desdemona and Amelia, are very underwritten. This is common with Shakespeare, and I um, I tried in the book to give them a much bigger part. So they, they have almost equal voice with the boys. And, um, and what happens to them, the journeys they go on, are, are every bit as important. So I, I tend to be slightly more critical of Shakespeare, if, if one is allowed to be. And, um, and I think that's no bad thing. The racial tensions were um, the, probably the trickiest part of the book. And it certainly made me remember um, what it was like. I think people were less sensitive to it than they are now. And um, there was some horrifyingly overt racism. And I, uh, it was painful to write. It's, uh, Osei has a tough day. And I, um, I hope that it, uh, it moves on from Shakespeare, but also shows us where, how far we've come as well. I love thinking back to when I was 11 myself, kind of horrifying, um, but uh, the, the, fun, the thing that was so fun for me was to reference all of the things that we, the games we played, the slang we used, um, the candy we ate, uh, how school worked, how I felt in school, and all that stuff came rushing back. It was, it was a great experience and very different from what I normally do, because normally I write historical novels that are set you know, centuries ago and have nothing to do with me. So this, um, this was much easier to think back on. It might draw in younger readers. Um, a, I, I, I've not written it specifically for young people. I've written it for everyone. Um, but I suspect that uh, there'll be some 11-year-olds and some teenagers taking sneaky peeks at it.